Hello students in our class today we are going to revise our discussion on classification of sentences in our last class we learned that a word or a group of words arranged in such a way so as to make complete sense is called a sentence we also discussed how sentences are classified according to the thought that the sentence expresses in today's class we will thoroughly discuss classification of sentences according to the construction of sentence according to the construction of the sentence sentences are classified into three kinds and they are simple sentence complex sentence and compound sentence now we will discuss the construction of each of these three kinds of sentences in details now let's start our discussion with simple sentence a simple sentence is one which has only one subject and one predicate or a simple sentence is one which has only one finite verb a simple sentence contains one main clause for example the second princess came forward now here in this sentence the second princess is the subject came is the finite verb now girls here we don't have any object but in a simple sentence for transitive verbs there can be an object too next we have complex sentence what is a complex sentence a complex sentence is a sentence that contains one independent and at least one dependent clause an independent clause is a phrase that would make sense if it were a sentence on its own whereas a dependent clause will not form a sentence on its own when these two types of clauses appear in a sentence we create a complex sentence let's consider the example those who live in glass houses should not throw stones at others now here in this sentence those should not throw stones at others is an independent clause as it would make a complete sentence on its own and on the other hand side who live in glass houses is a dependent or a subordinate clause as it doesn't make a complete sense on its own it is dependent on the first clause that is the main clause for the phrase to make sense so just to define a complex sentence we may say that a complex sentence is one which consists of one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses dependent for their full meaning on the main clause as it is known to us that a subordinate clause is another way of terming a dependent clause both words subordinate and dependent offer clues to help us better understand the function of these clauses in writing dependent means contingent on or determined by whereas subordinate means lower in rank or position that tells us that 
grammatical speaking subordinate or dependent clauses are not equal to the independent clauses in a sentence the independent clause and subordinate clause are not equal because the latter that is the subordinate clause cannot form a sentence on its own the subordinate clause is as such dependent on the independent clause to provide the complete meaning now girls you cannot create a complex sentence without using a subordinate clause in it other types of sentences such as compound sentence simple sentences can exist without subordinate clauses when you think about it the subordinate clause is what makes the sentence complex the subordinate clause requires the help of the independent clause for it to make sense it reaches back or forward across the sentence to have its own meaning making a sentence more complex in the process the third and the last kind of sentence based on the construction of a sentence is a compound sentence a compound sentence is one which is made up of two or more coordinate clauses for example i yearn for freedom and i got it example number 2 my friends came and gave me a book which i have lost and the third example says he says what he means and he means what he says now girls here i just want to tell you that in all these three sentences the first sentence is made up of two simple sentences the second sentence is the first part is a simple sentence and the second part is a complex sentence whereas the third one is made up of two complex sentences now here i just want to tell you one thing when such constructions are formed we call them double sentences as each contains two sentences in each of the sentences as i have already told you in the first sentence we have simple sentence along with a simple sentence then we have simple sentence along with a complex sentence and in the third we have a complex sentence along with a complex sentence so these are the examples of double sentences which are again a sub division or a sub category of a compound sentence now girls let's study these two examples of compound sentences example number 4 i came i saw i conquered and example number 5 the old man sighed sobbed and hung his head when he realized that his hopes were doomed now here if you study minutely the first sentence is made up of three simple sentences whereas the fifth sentence fifth example is made up of two simple sentences and a complex sentence such compound sentences are called multiple sentences so this is again another sub division or sub category of compound sentence now girls as i have told you that we have planned to discuss the classification of sentences according to the construction of the sentence in details here you will have some advanced information on 
compound sentences now we saw in sentence structure that a compound sentence is two or more independent clauses joined by a coordinating conjunction or semicolon so a compound sentence is like two or more simple sentences added together usually we join independent clauses with one of the seven coordinating conjunctions the term coordinating conjunction sounds complicated i know but in fact there are only seven of them and they are all short and monosyllabic words they are for and nor but or yet and so and girls it is very easy to remember with the help of mnemonic fan boys f a n b o y s f for for a for and n for nor b for but o for or y for yet and s for so now let's see how these coordinating conjunctions are actually applied in a sentence we use for conjunction meaning something like because to join two clauses when the second clause is the reason for the first clause so meaning wise it is because and application wise let's see i have to buy a new pen for i lost the old one so i am giving a reason for buying a new pen and here i am using a coordinating conjunction and here i am using for as the conjunction next a a for i told you a for and meaning wise in addition to now we use and to join two clauses that have equal value or we use and to join two clauses when the second clause happens after the first clause and thirdly we use and to join two clauses when the second clause is a result of the first clause we have taken only one example over here and we have used and as the one where two clauses have equal value example kolkata is in west bengal and chennai is in tamil nadu next we have n n for nor meaning and not we use the nor conjunction to join two alternative clauses when the first clause uses a negative such as neither or never in case both clauses are untrue or do not happen for example neither my friends nor i want to go there next but meaning wise it is however we use but conjunction to introduce a clause that contrasts with the preceding clause for example sima worked hard but he could not succeed so here i'm showing a contrast shima worked hard but she could not succeed next in the row we have r o for or is meaning wise it means either now we use or conjunction to join two alternative clauses 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल मेरी गो और विल जॉन गो सो आइदर मेरी विल गो और जॉन विल गो सो इन अन्टेंस वी पुट इट लाइक दिस विल मेरी गो और विल जॉन गो वी हैव यूज द कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन और ओवर य नेक्स्ट इन द लिस्ट वी हैव येट the yet conjunction is similar to but it means something like but as the same time but nevertheless but in spite of this as with but there is a contrast between the clauses for example i know her for a long time yet i have never understood her last in the row we have s s for so meaning therefore so the conjunction so means something like therefore and for this reason we use so to join two clauses when the first clause is the reason for the second clause for example he was feeling sick so he went to the doctor so these are the list of the coordinating clauses with the help of which we actually join sentences to make compound sentence so girls we have discussed the construction of simple sentences complex sentences and compound sentences in details our class will remain incomplete if you do not study and practice as we all know practice makes perfect so here are some practice materials for you to do at home identify the following sentences and transform each one of them according to the instructions given within brackets sentence number 1 she did not know how to live in a joint family into complex number 2 i am certain that you have made a mistake transform it into a compound sentence number 3 Undoubtedly your essay is one of the best essays transform it into a complex sentence sentence number 4 how long i shall stay doubtful turn it into a simple sentence he went to station by taxi to avoid missing the train transform it into a complex sentence number 6 give me some water that i may drink turn it into a simple sentence sentence number 7 i saw that a man running across the park transform it into a simple sentence and the last sentence on this page is in spite of being poor he is honest turn it into a complex sentence Sentence number 9 There was an unnatural silence transform it into a complex sentence Sentence number 10 They looked like lost children transform it into a complex sentence 11 I had grown up within a magic circle turn it into a complex sentence 12 This is what I want to tell you about transform it into simple sentence number 13 it is hard to run pirate caves and things like that with only two turn it into a complex sentence number 14 i am not sure how it happened turn it into a simple sentence number 15 my elbow went clear through the kite making a big hole transform the sentence into a complex sentence 
Number 16. A month later, a letter came for father. Turn it into a complex sentence. He had quarreled with his brother and left home. Sentence number 17. And transform it into a simple sentence. Sim sentence number 18. She was a widow who lived 100 miles inland. Transform it into a simple sentence. Sentence number 19. They discovered the kite on the top of a tree and carried it home. Transform it into a simple sentence. And the last one on this page we have. We rushed into the lighthouse to get some paper. Transform it into a compound sentence. So students, in today's class, we have thoroughly discussed the classification of sentences based on the construction of the sentence. The practice materials I have given you today cover two grammatical tasks, identification of sentences and transformation of sentences. Hope you all will study and do the exercise given today. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you all.